All right, time to play with PowerW Studio again. Uh, on the screen, what you see is uh, my System Center Operations Manager machine, and you see a view uh, called ESX Guest Files, which is uh, generated by and populated by uh, PowerW Studio. And I'll show you how I did that from start to finish, and uh, I'll try not to gloss over anything. So at the very, very beginning, I started out with this one-liner from Hugo. Uh, love... Uh, the whole community, I love one-liners and PowerShell scripts. They're great. Uh, I started out with that one-liner, and I beefed it up just a little bit to add uh, capacity and percent free space. So just added two little fields there, and renamed the path to drive path. So you'll see why later. Uh, and that's what I started with. Start with this PowerShell script, this PowerCLI script. Transcribe that script into a workflow using PowerDev Studio, which you've seen in previous demos. We've you know, step by step, you know, drag over, drag over uh, each of these activities from the left side onto the canvas. And to test it, I threw a property grid at the very end just to see if I can see the same data inside of workflow that I see running the PowerShell script. PowerShell script. So we'll hit play and I'll show you that we do see that same data. Same data, which is good. All right, so the, the next step now that I've got it as a workflow and I'm working with, with the same data inside of uh, PowerDev Studio is that I took this script and moved it off to uh, the agent machine where I'm going to want to, to actually collect the data. I took that same script and I deleted the property good activity at the end and replaced it with this 2WMI activity. And I set these three values, uh, the name of the class, the name of the namespace where we're going to pump the data, and the primary key. And I deployed that uh, to the agent on this machine. Now we can go look uh, via the agent monitor and see that workflow running that's been running uh, since I started it uh, I guess about 40, 40 minutes ago uh, every every minute or every 30 seconds uh, but it's running on, on this on this agent machine using the power WF agent so very very simple I took the workflow I created on my dev box copied it over here to this agent machine replaced the property good activity with a 2WMI and then I deployed it to the local agent no big deal once it's running on the agent, uh, I use PowerDev Studio to uh, to uh, create a management pack. So I just right click on the 2WMI activity and say create management pack. And that'll create the, the management pack file, this XML file, and import that into my SCOM server. Uh, once that's imported, that's what creates the view, and the view begins populating it automatically uh, within, uh, within a minute or two. So this is live data. Uh, it is changing every every 30 seconds, every minute, however often I've got the agent running, and uh, and uh, it is data, you know, pulled from this PowerShell script, and it's visible inside of System Center Operations Manager. Now at this point, you could uh, you could add uh, add monitors and rules to do performance monitoring and and and, and uh, you know red light, green light, green light uh, status monitoring. Uh, we're just we're getting the data into SCOM for you, but you see it's the same exact data over here: capacity, free space, percent free space, and drive path. Same exact data that we saw in the PowerShell script, because it is the same data. And PowerW Studio is putting that data in SCOM for you. So that's that end to end. We start out with a PowerCLI script, transcribe that using PowerW Studio, pump that into WMI have the PowerWF agent run that workflow, which pumps that PowerCLI data into WMI, and then have PowerWF create the management pack, import that into SCOM, and boom, there you go. Now we can see that data inside of SCOM. Thank you for your questions. Uh, please uh, leave some feedback. Tell us if you like the direction we're going, and uh, thanks for interested in PowerWF.